My last four minimal nail designs video went over super well, so in this video I'll be showing you four more designs that are 4th of July themed. First up, we have a soft and subtle look using assorted glitters. I started with two coats of this semi-sheer pink polish and let it dry. For the glitters, I'll be picking out some glitter from a couple different polishes and using some plain white stars and matte circle glitters. Next, go ahead and apply another coat of the sheer pink polish to give the glitter something to stick to. Then just start adding in the glitter pieces. I centralize the glitter mainly in one part on each nail, but you can do it wherever you want and add as much or as little glitter as you want. Then I just sealed it all in with a generous layer of top coat and that's it. Next up, we have a cool cutout stripe design. There's two ways you can achieve this look. The first way is using striping tape and applying it evenly spaced out across your nail. Then apply a coat of color and remove the tape while it's still wet for the crispest lines. Or you can also just freehand the lines in with a striping brush. Sharpen up any wobbly lines with a clean sharpening brush or angled brush dipped in nail polish remover. I finished off this look with a matte top coat for a modern look, but you can totally use a shiny top coat if you want to. Sticking with the natural nail theme, this next design is my favorite of the bunch. To make these big polka dots, I'll be using a large dotting tool. I first make the center row of dots, then I add the others on the sides to get a uniform look on each nail. You can also use the smaller side of the dotting tool to make half circles to fill out the pattern on the sides of the nail. Seal in the design with a top coat again and that's it! And this last design is a good option for those of you that aren't into the natural nail look. I started with a plain color on each nail, so I put blue on my index, silver on my middle, red on my ring fingernail, and white on my pinky nail. Then I just used the same colors and painted a stripe on the side of a different colored nail. And don't worry if it's not super clean, you can straighten up the line with the base color. You can do a bunch of different colors like I'm doing, or just stick with two. This is a super easy and extremely customizable design. And that's it! Let me know in the comments which minimal design you liked the most, and I'd love to hear what you're doing this holiday. And don't forget to check out my last minimal designs video if you enjoyed this one.